Oh my god, dude, you got the pet. Oh, Jesus. Like, 2KC in tonight. Wow, that's insane. Damn, bro. Grats on the freaking pet. That's the third pet I've seen. Oh my god, dude. We saw the tool seat. Ah, another one. Oh, man. Damn, bro. Number seven, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, Targaryen brother! 2 HP, <sighs> dude, are you joking? And he died! Oh, and your pet! Dude, see ya later, man. You just lost the mill. Okay, I just hit 1300 KC, damn. Trying to go for like, you know, 50, uh, 50 KC a day right now, but damn, bro. Yeah, it's so good, bro. Oh, I just got an Onyx. Are you kidding? Wow, my second Onyx. Oh my god, you got the pet. Bruh. Wow, that's just, I just saw my fourth pet. Oh, baby. Oh, 100 more. And we are 2x. Okay. It's already been five years, you know? I waited long enough. Uh-huh. Fitness. Nah. Oh my god! Yo, what the... What? Yo, what? That actually happened, dude. Holy shit, boys. I'm out. I'm sorry, boys. I'm out. Well, we've been uh, grinding quite a bit of pets, you know, on, on the side. We've gone pretty dry on some of them. 5,000 smokes devils. We just hit like 3,000 at Grotesque Guardians. And yeah, all that, all that good jazz. And we actually got lucky on a pet that I was not expecting to get. Like, you know, for a long time, I was going to get the seed and dip. That's insane, dude. Our first uh, unique pet in quite a while. That's crazy. Yes. Okay, I insured the pet, right? I just want to make sure. Dude, pet number 18, yo. Okay, I double checked. She's insured. So yeah, let's have a discussion. Why do they call you Sokano? Well, is it because you're like a foe? Don't say it. Why? I don't, why not? Why not? Why not? All right, we're gonna have to put away the puppet Dao for a bit. You know, he's had enough of a walk. So, so I'm pretty content on just getting one tool seed, just because I don't do a whole lot of scaling. So now that I also have the pet. Yeah, once I get the tool seat, I don't think I'm going to make a second return. Unless, for some reason, there's going to be a bunch of scaling happening in the future, which I don't really see any any reason for that, so... Just to fill- <gasps> Oh my fucking god! I actually got this fucking signet going for Sokano, are you joking? Holy fuck, I actually did that, wow. Yo, I was thinking I would get this while I was making cannonballs. I was about to go and do some Solcano, dude, and I got this shit. I saw that crystal whip. So the Elven Signet will have a chance to save charges on your crystal items besides the Blade of Saldor. It is mainly used for when you are skilling with the crystal tools like the pickaxe, the axe, and all that. So it's actually really good with skilling. Um, yeah, best in slot, so really cool item to have. Excited to see what uh, we have caught total. Damn, dude. We've passively caught 64 crystal imps. All the time I spent making cannonballs here. All the time that I spent coming back to Sokano, you know, for the grind. I've managed to passively collect 64 of these guys. I've never camped these. And of course, there it is. The official 2x rate. Dry. Baby, we did it again. We're so good at those. Oh my god, Noodle! What? Bro, you just got here! Ninth tool C, boys. Wow, that's crazy. He literally just got this pet too. Holy fuck. Hey, grats, man, but... But first we must, uh... <gasps> what the f***, dude? Oh my god, oh, that's insane. I just saw my 10th crystal tool seed. I just saw two crystal tool seeds in like a span of, I don't even know, less than 10, of 10, dude. 
The most giant grind might not be the worst grind of the entire Elf City grinds because we are definitely being tested quite a bit here. Yeah, it's not over yet, boys. Players often get hacked through their emails being compromised. You might be asking, how do hackers get access to your email? One of the most common tactics is through database leaks. Many players often create ours accounts using emails that is connected to various other online websites. If any of those websites has a database leak, hackers can then use that information to potentially gain access to the email and therefore gain access to your RuneScape account. Luckily, Dashlane exists to help you monitor things like database breaches associated with your emails. Dashlane offers many other security services. Dashlane can manage all your passwords so you don't have to keep track of each one separately. Dashlane also has a secure autofill feature that works for personal information and credit cards, a VPN to prevent unwanted eyes from tracking your online activities. Dashlane works across all devices including all Apple products, PCs, Android, Safari, and Chrome. To get Dashlane for free for life on your first device, laptop, or phone, head to dashlane.com slash ricecup and use my promo code ricecup to get 10% off everything. Oh my god, I just got a big fat Armadale task. How can I say no to that? The only issue is I don't have any more chins, so I'm actually going to have to catch some chins. Okay, so... Armor task, I got that last night, and I was like, yeah, let's get some chins, but I still didn't get the chins. Nani? But you know what? This gives me a good opportunity to try some other methods, you know? So, yeah, I'm gonna try some armadillo methods. Basically, uh, twisted bow camping with shield swap. So the max cape can give me a free bronze crossbow a few times a day, so that's really good, because that way I can use those to get to the armadillo room and drop them once I get in for more space. Okay, this one's hitting pretty good. I hit a 70, that's pretty much my max. Okay, that was a really good kill. Oh, nice! Yo, that's sick. Armadillo chest plate, yo. So how did the Tebow method only work at Armadillo? It worked out actually quite well. I was getting about 20-ish kills an hour. Once in a while, you get some insanely fast kills where the Tebow just pops off 60s like all the time. But most of the time, the kills were a bit slower than chaining for sure because, yeah, the Tebow was only hitting about 35%, you know, of the time. But overall, not bad. So the first strat was to use the shield flick method, which meant that every time my Tebow is on cooldown, I just have a shield worn so I can reduce damage. It worked out pretty well, but I realized that I can only do about 20-ish kills a trip if I don't prayer flick. And uh, what I realized also is that I was able to upkeep the food anyway, so I quickly just abandoned shield flicking altogether and went straight to prayer flicking. So prayer flicking, uh, a little bit riskier because you are taking a bit more damage, but you are able to last a lot longer though because I'm prayer flicking. I can conserve my prayer most of the time. And I was able to get actually more kills, a lot more kills than using the shield method. So I actually prefer just camping the Tebow pretty much the whole time and flicking my prayer. If you're really unsure of your prayer flicking abilities, shield flicking is pretty safe. And yeah, you can definitely get 20-ish kills, no problem anyways. Yeah, Tebow method is definitely very viable. I underestimated it for sure. And I'm really glad I tested it because I definitely don't plan on using chins anymore at Armadale, because, yeah, the T-Bow is just really sufficient. Pew! Pew! Nice, that was a good spec. On the melee guy, I freaking killed the melee guy. That worked out pretty well. Come on, alright. Okay, this is the last kill of this trip, because, uh... I want to milk some more with the slaughter bracelet, so... Um, yeah, we managed to do over 30 kills this trip. So here is the rough strategy that I'm using currently with the Tebow method. I hope to perfect this in the next task, but for now the framework is mostly uh, built. So the main strategy is to freeze the melee guy. I don't want him to hit me when I am just shooting my you know, Tebow at the boss because you're wearing range armor, so the melee guy hits really hard. So try your best to freeze him as much as you can so he doesn't hit you. I usually cycle around the room while freezing the melee guy and hitting the boss simultaneously. 
Also, I have a blowpipe, so the blowpipe spec comes in handy. If I need a heal mid-fight, I usually just spec the melee minion, whatever minions near me. And yeah, I usually get a lot of HP back. Make sure to just keep aggro on the boss, though, because he does like to melee you if you're nearby. So just make sure you time that uh, correctly. Same way like you time the chins. And yeah, just freeze the melee guy, attack the boss, eat up when you need to. You know, I try to keep myself above 50 HP, and you'll get the kill eventually. That's pretty much it. And of course, if you're not going to be prayer flicking, then just shield switch instead. Oh, I just got an armor hill, dude. This task is sick. Nice. Hey, look, I've uh, achieved the average amount of hills that I should have uh, by this amount of KC. So yeah, finally. I just finished my first ever armor hill task with Tiba as a primary weapon, and I gotta say, it worked out really, really well. Average kills per trips was like 20 to 30, and it was my first try ever. So, I can definitely see improvements as I get better and better with the setup and whatnot. There's still some things that I want to perfect. But anyways, uh, we managed to get about 90 kills. It was about 20-ish kills an hour. And normally, to do that many kills, I would need to use at least probably a thousand red chins which would take about close to two hours to catch. But obviously with the Tebow method, I don't have to catch shins at all. So I saved myself almost two hours having to prep for this task. So that's huge. Every time I do an armor task, I save, you know, somewhere between one to two hours every time compared to getting red shins. So it's massive, massive difference. Really good on an Iron Man. Ooh, I just got a late clue from this Mithril Dragon task. Sick. Nice. I got a massive clue to do after this then. Oh, chew bone. Nice. Okay. Alright. I'm going to pick that up right now, to be honest. Alright. Let me check my bank after this. This could be a big one, dude. This could be the one. Wow, that's insane, dude. I got another elite clue. Two masters to do back to back. First master clue of two. Here we go. Mimic again, I swear. I, I just get these all the time. I knew it! I predicted it, bro. I knew it, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. Here we go, boys. Second Master Clue. Bruh, I just got an Obsidian Cape R, dude. Holy shit. So freaking cool, dude. I don't even have that. That is... It's not an ornament kit, but, yo, a unique item is a unique item. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Alright, so we can put this in the house. Let's go look at my... Uh, Master stash here. There we go. Obsidian cave reversed. And uh, yeah, we got a few random uniques here and there that we haven't filled yet. Getting really close to filling this up though. I just need, uh, I think the samurai gloves or something and we're done with that. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of the devil, dude. I was like, if I don't see anything past 700 XP drop. It's not a 70-70, but holy shit, we almost hit that, dude. We almost did it. Pretty much reached the drop rate now for this boss. Next task is going to be over the rate. Damn, crazy. All right, so I have two Hydro Claws, and uh, to save some bank space, I might as well just turn these into some extra Dragon Hunter Lance. All right, let's do it. Three Dragon Hunter Lances in my bank. All right, it's time to actually make some stamina. It's been a long time since I've uh, actually done it, but yeah, I kind of ran out of stamina finally. So I still have a crazy amount of Marks of Grace. All right, let's decant all our potions. Ooh, that's crazy. I haven't had this many stamina Four doses is such a long time. 927. Oh, baby. I am all set. All right. This is big number 5,000. God damn. 5,000. That's insane. But it felt so fast, dude. 5,000 KC felt way faster than getting like 2,000 orbital KC. I'll tell you that. Oh, yo. I got it. Holy fuck. That's insane. Okay, so I'm 100% I'm sure I have nine chew bones in my bank right now so oh my god another one holy shit never mind i got 11 chew bones to burn tonight let's go 
Okay, all right, so it says I have 21 KC done. I finished this, I'm gonna have 31, and I'm pretty sure I've done 20. So we're at like around 40 kills, yeah, around 40 kills. 10 more to go. All right, guys, the last bone. So I'm pretty sure I did around 20 before they kept track of the chew bone, so I'm around 50 KC. Still way too early for DX farm, but it's gonna take a long time for another 10 of these bones since I'm passively just doing this. So last video got a lot of support and I obviously know why. So thank you guys so much for uh, yeah keeping up with the nature stab ground. We finally finished that one, so it's amazing. And also regarding the Twitch vlog, I'm gonna try to work on it next week. I said it here now, so that means I can't back down on making this vlog. So it'll definitely happen. And before I go, a few things to say. My French shop is always open, Mr. Iron Bar. Great place to hang out. And yeah, enjoy your time while you're escaping. And also, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on future videos, definitely subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. If YouTube content isn't enough, you can find more content at twitch.tv slash ricecup. I stream my progress six days a week. So if you are interested, definitely come and hang out with us on Twitch as well. We'd love to have you. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon, hopefully with another video in a week or so. Take care and bye-bye.